start recording. All right, YouTube, today we're gonna play Sword Versus Control. This is like my favorite deck in Legacy. I don't know if it's like my, it's like the most fun to play. Like I, I actually have fun playing this deck. I think I've, I think I've decided that despite what my friends say about this deck being boring, I, I enjoy it. I have a good time playing this deck. Win four one in this league with uh, miracles. We'll get that deck list up. Get that deck on the YouTube page later. Yeah, Grixis Control. Like when you want to settle in, you play Grixis Control. I'm gonna grab a glass of water while this loads. Stay. All right, let me update my update. Let me see how the poll actually ended. <clears throat> we had 20 votes. Grix Control got nine. Grixis Delver got five. And both Rug and Blue White Delver got. Actually, Rug Delver is my favorite deck to play, but. That deck's tough to win with. All right, here we go. I want to play sweet, gross. I'm gonna keep it because if we hit a, you know, we can hit, we can hit a can trip or just a land and be in a good spot. Your hand's not great. Marsh flats, a marsh flat strategy. Ugh. All right, this might not work out. Okay, waste one of these. Oh, my next door. So I'm going to have to force this. If this is like a Stoneforge Mystic or a Bob. Oh, that sucks. Tail. All right, let's get rid of this Bob. I guess I could have gotten rid of Stoneforge Mystic and they wouldn't have the equipment. Yeah, I messed up. I should have taken the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. But I guess I can go like push the Mystic. And lose all this Jurgen. Okay. Gross. So I can go Thoughtseize Lightning Bolt, where I can take him 
Bolt, Stone, Forge, Mystic. Uh, 11. Oh, my opponent should just waste. My opponent should just waste me, but they're not. I don't know if they're going to. What's the best use of my mana? I think I'm going to go like this. Well, now I want to take this Tide Hollow Sculler. <clears throat> so I guess if I just take, if I take the Tide Hollows, no, the, the, I'll just get it back with the K command, so I don't have to worry about that. But if they cast Tide Hollow Sculler, they're going to waste me. I guess we'll just take this. And then I might as well just bolt this, I guess. Because, like, if I bolt this, then I kind of feel dumb not stacking it. I might as well just bolt this so they can't do it at instant speed. And they can do it at their turn. <clears throat> that makes them not want to waste. Oh, you're right. That makes sense. Night Shadow. So I'm gonna waste my uh, waste my black source, get, make me get rid of my push. You gotta waste my black source here, right, bud? Okay. And we get hemmed. Okay. My opponent's hand is Jet Plow Two Unknowns. Rut row. Rut row. Yeah. Sort of fire and ice. Maybe I should have mulliganed my first hand. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. And I could keep playing this game, but I don't really want to. Because they're just going to suit this up, draw two cards a turn. So I theoretically have out, but I think I'm good. I'm going to scoop it up. I have outs, but I would like to just play another game. Because, like, I'm getting beat up. Yeah, I can. All right, so I want that. I want all my grindy elements. I would assume this is like a Lingering Souls deck. I wouldn't be surprised if they had Liliana's their own. I kind of want to get these out of here. Oh, Edict's not good. I zoned out. I usually always sideboard in Diabolic Edict whenever I play against a grindy matchup because True Name Nemesis is usually, um, usually a part of it. So I just think like, oh, it's automatic. I might sideboard... Is this better than this? Yeah, casualties and dailies are really good. Nah. Because this can hit Planeswalkers. This can, like, snap Lingering Souls. Four... 7, 11, 17. That's kind of low. 
I could just play a fluster storm. They're both gonna get the same thing. I guess I guess I kind of want more fluster storm effects because of uh I don't think this is very good. Let's go like this because of because they have him. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I don't think Gurmagangor is gonna be that great against this deck. Okay. They don't always have lingering souls. That that's just what like screams to my mind. It's like you hear a black white whatever Bob. Um, black, white, Bob, Stoneforge Mystic deck. It seems like Lingering Souls would handle equipment very well. All right, I would like to play first. And I would like to keep my hand. Leyline of Sanctity. Okay. Very happy that's not Leyline of the Void. I kind of want to just fluster storm this. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. And I think I'm gonna get another underground seed and not think so they can't cut me off colors. Like, it doesn't, it, it's not like horrible for me to like not have red right now. Well, I don't want them to wasteland me off of black. Basically. And like we need a third land anyways for this to be good. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna brainstorm. Because like I really would like to protect this Jace. Nice. So I'm actually going to protect both this Jace and this Kologon's Command. It's a lot of lands, but yeah, we're going to let him take the Snapcaster Mage so that we can K-Command it back at some point. And, like, most of the time in a deck like this, you don't want to draw this many lands. And, like, obviously I think this is a little, this is a lot. But, um, sometimes it's just nice in the, um, uh, gosh, what was I going to say? It's nice with the Snapcaster K Command deck, too. Just have a lot of lands. Because now, like, I can, on my turn, I can shoot this rebuy snap, which I'm pretty into. I thought like I could just play Jason bounce it, which like gets me a Jason play. And I feel like they have a harder time answering it. You know, but like it's bouncing a Stoneforge Mystic, which gives them another card. I could also just play Jason Brainstorm. Yeah, I'm going to play Jason Brainstorm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, like I've got a good setup here. Like I can even name a, like I can name the sword. Souls. Okay.
Okay. So my top card's Pithing Needle, which I don't know is if that's worth it. I could just go Jace Plus, put it on the bottom, and then Brainstorm New. And I can go like, shoot this, make them discard, or I can go shoot this, return Snapcaster Mage. I kind of like that. So let's put this needle on the bottom. Oh yeah, we can't discard. All right, put this back, put this back. Jesus, Phil, just knocking my thing over. Yeah, we can't discard. Get back my Snapcaster Mage, excuse me. If they just put the Batter Skull in, then... Or put the whatever it is in, then I'm just going to just shatter the equipment. So I'm going to do it now because then my Jace will take two and then I can uh -oh. yeah I'm just going to go discard return snap or sh shock return snapcaster Make sure my Jace keeps pace. Sure. Um, let's get a Badlands. So I can brainstorm or I can just go up. Yeah, he didn't flashback souls. I think he's worried about like um, whatever it is. The problem is I can't really use my snapcaster mate. You can't call it on command, so we're just gonna brainstorm. Gross. Play a bird. I find like toxic deluge or marsh casualties, it's just so good. That's pretty nice too. But I don't think we can play the last hope this turn. Phil, come on, bud. Get out of here. You're pushing on the table, you push on me. Out. Come on. Uh, I don't really want any of these cards though, so I wouldn't mind getting a shuffle in here. Uh, but I want to be mana efficient. I'm going to want land, so let's just go. Yeah. And 
this Liliana should put in some serious work. We have to answer every creature. We're going to push whatever he goes to equip. Yeah, we're in a good spot for sure. This is red, blue. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in a really good spot here. Should I keep brainstorming? Yep. All right, we don't need cards. So we have seven mana, so I can go click up here, bolt this, play another Baleful Strix. Sweet. No, I can't do that because then they're gonna they're gonna target it. I'm just gonna wipe the board and play a Planeswalker. Take up on this, probably just take up on this cleric. I'm not going to take up on the cleric. I might be able to maneuver, finagle my way into getting some graveyard action out of it. We've just seen like too many cards at this point. Oh, they're going to block. Okay. Yeah, we'll find it. We've got two more Colgon's commands. Like, the sword doesn't do anything if they don't have creatures. And, like, right now, we can outpace the creatures. Like, my opponent's going to flash back Lingering Souls and then try to equip... I'll bolt the one they try to equip and then hit the other one with Liliana. Yeah. My opponent was just dead as a doorknob. All right. Submit. And Bob's your uncle. All right, this hand is pretty good. A little susceptible to Wasteland. Okay, got it. I feel pretty sad if they take my Brainstorm, then I go play a land and they just waste me. Take my Jace, okay. That makes me think I'm not going to get... Oh, that's a nice draw. So I let them know what I they I let them know what I draw here. Okay. But it, it's a land that's just not gonna get wasted. Alright, we're gonna hymn two lingering souls in my opponent's graveyard. <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Oh, LOLs. 
I mean, we're gonna have to slog through those lingering souls at some point. So it is nice. There's only they're only like, you know, there's less of them in there. Ding. I really don't want to get any of these discarded. So I'm going to go here, here, play land, pass. Bell. Sorry about that. No. No. Philly, stop that. Philly, stop. Philly. Stop. They're just people that are walking outside. Stop. Stop. Down. Philly, down. Okay. You're okay, bud. Sorry about that. Yeah, Jace Architect of Thought would be nice. Yeah, Philly just, he gets all worked up when he hears people outside. Brown you. We're getting wasted. So I have to end a turn, kill one of these. And brainstorm. <clears throat> so I could just jam Gurmag. Which I don't hate. But that's easily answered. Oh, if I said that's nice. Yeah, I like Rick Silver a lot. It's my favorite deck. Now Jamin Jamin Gurmag is just like a way for me to like get destroy it, I think. But I wouldn't mind having access to it. So I'm just going to play this land. My opponent doesn't do anything. I might not. I might just play my angler. But no, that, I'm just going to shuffle my angler away because of the stupid remorseful cleric. I feel like as long as my J stays in play, like, I'm not... Nothing's going to... Nothing bad's going to happen to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna push this now. Keep my keep my life keep my Jace's loyalty high. Phil, come on. Phil, get stay away from the table, Phil. <clears throat> All right, here goes my graveyard. You got it. I should have fetched another bread to fill. No. No. Do what you told, buddy. My opponent's got no plays. Which likely means this game is over. Um. I'm just gonna keep. I'm going to keep hitting my land drops because I'm drawing so many cards a turn that if I keep hitting my land drops that like 
nothing really. I mean, if I keep any of my land drops, just gonna let me chain things. Uh, that dread is nice to have. Deal. You got it. All right. That's actually a nice hit for our opponent. Let's get Sword of Fire nice. Okay. Get another red source. All right. Okay, game over. <clears throat> Both teams tried hard. I guess I could like snap ponder there. So in this. Whatever you say. Okay. Let's put back this, this. Thought sees my opponent. Okay. And again, we're just doing that to just check the boxes. Like they could have had like a Vindicate or something. I don't know. They probably would have cast it last turn, but now we have a way to win the game quickly. And all we can, we can just brainstorm with Jace until, really until our heart desires. What are we about to get lingering souls? Okay. We have a dread boar on top. Um, put back one, two, one, two, three. We could snap Colagon's command, my opponent, but I don't really want to fetch away any of these cards because they're all great. So I'm just going to put back snap deluge. Get that out of here. This deck is the pepperoni cut from the buffalo. Opponent is on the timeout plan, it appears. Which is classy. This is probably incorrect because of equipment, but like it's fun. No, they're all F6. They're trying to time me out. Like, and I'm just going to sit here and brainstorm until my heart. Desires. Yeah, it's game three. Like, I'm just going to keep owning. Yeah. That's why we did the Pithing Needle Abandon Hope. Because my opponent's just F6ing. 
Oh, they're holding priority now. Okay. Okay. Brainstorming is more fun. We could fade seal for sure, but that is not as much fun as doing it this way. So let me get this back, put this back, attack Liliana. And then I'm going to draw a step, shoot Liliana, make them discard a card. Okay. Not a flawless victory. Yeah, I super punted. I'm having fun. Like, I am... I activated Jace like 78 times this game. And I'm going to get them all in while I can. And I'm going to Snapcaster. Colagon's command again. Do it again. All right. Both teams, both teams tried hard. All right. Jump back into it. I got the first round. I'm going to put my computer glasses on. I'm going to stream in for about three and a half hours. I don't want my eyes to get too messed up. You're in a doghouse still. I'll hang out with you later. But now I'm ignoring you. I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. We have 72 viewers. Y'all are great. I appreciate the support on Twitch for the legacy content. I wish I, I wish my YouTube videos got the same support, but they do not, unfortunately. They do not. Pin solid. Discard spell into Baleful Strix. A little slow against combo decks, but like that's what we're signing up for. Opponent mulligan of four cards. That is tough. We're playing against DNT. Oh. I'm just gonna take this Thalia. We're playing against uh Maverick. This is the second time I played against Maverick today. See, it's I, I hear it's well positioned. Which, you know, I don't know enough about Legacy to know if that's actually true. That's where I'm going. I prefer Legacy much more than Modern at the moment. Dude, do it. All right, there's our way to win. I can't beat your deck, Adam. You're playing against uh, well, it's got it's a uh, it's like a it's like Maverick. Okay. I think I'm just gonna push this. I'm just, I mean, excuse me. I'm just gonna lightning bolt this Stoneforge Mystic because I'm gonna be like Jacing. 
and brainstorming. Like, I just want to use my spells. That him's going to be good at some point. For now, I just want to play Jace. We're not going to get lightning bolted. Okay, that makes sense. So we're playing against Maverick. So we want this, this, Deluge, Liliana, Casualties. Probably want Edict because Knight of the Reliquary is thick. Cards I'm not excited about. Force of Will. Um, probably in Gurmag. Well, they had Scrubland and they had Green Sun Zenith. So, like... You know, there's only can only be so many decks. Oh shoot! I totally forgot about choke. One hundred percent forgot about choke. Um. Well, we're not gonna get boarded there. Forgot about choke. I appreciate all the follows coming through. I, I muted on my end because it comes through weird on the YouTube channel, so I'm not that technological yet. But I appreciate everybody coming in there. We're going to get browned by a choke. I always forget about that. The TJ1, uh, Banelock, the Duke, Opal, uh, Jace of Ravnica, Ivan the Dredger. Uh, Emerald Zero Zero, High Brab, Most of the Coat, Big Cool. I appreciate all of that. So, this hand's pretty solid if I draw a Black Source. And I have two Brainstorms, so I'm going to keep it. And I'm on the draw. My opponent says Hot Dog, these hands. Ooh, black land. I'm likely going to brainstorm into turn. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to brainstorm into turn. No, I'm not going to brainstorm into turn. Okay. So I don't think these hymns are going to be that good. I kind of want to like thought seize so I don't get whacked by a choke next turn. So we're going to put the problem is one of these hymns is likely going to be it. So I'm going to put a hymn back. And I'm going to put back. Now nah, I'm going to put both these hymns back. All right, I've got the sword covered. I'm just going to take the green sun zenith. I guess my opponent can waste me, which means that I might not have the sword covered. No, I'll have the sword covered. I'll just kill the thing that he attacks it to, make a land drop, and then eventually get him with the K command. That's a little dangerous, though. Gross. 
All right, Ponder gives me the most looks at a land or lightning bolt. Great. Once again, just going to crack whatever he puts this on. I guess this is pretty bad. So I'm going to let this go because I could have done Brainstorm Hide. But the problem is, is what I do here is that I should have brainstormed. Yeah, I should have brainstormed. Because like what I, what I thought about is that like my opponent's going to take either this card or this card. And if they take this card then I can bolt what they put it on this turn to save me a turn, and then I can brainstorm again. But it wasn't right to do. Yeah, so we're going to bolt this arbor. But yeah, this wasn't, this wasn't that good. So my the car underneath of this is a swamp. So how do I get out of this? I can hit. I've got one lightning bolt left in my deck. I have a dread boar. I have a diabolic edict. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go underground sea. Brainstorm. All right, we didn't get there. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble because I don't have a Colagon's command because I'm a big dum-dum. Because I'm a big dum-dum. Yeah, no, I, I made a mistake. I definitely made a mistake. I'm going to play Jace and I'm going to Fate Seal myself. Yep, we made mis mistakes were made, chat. Mistakes were made. Because I wanted to get, I want to dig to a Colagon's command. That's why I fate sealed myself. No, Jace isn't dead. They don't get an activation off the sword. All right, well, now we're going to brainstorm. That's close. I don't really know what I need at this point. All right, that plays. Oh, it looks like we're good. The Snapcaster plays. 
Well, it's not GG. Oh, yeah, he does just suit up the mom. All right, we're going to make him do it out here. And again, I lost this game to the sword. This is where I made a mistake. This is where I just punted. I should have hit the Kologons command. I guess I should have edicted because that might have made him think about it more. I don't know. Okay. Got it. Yeah, there were there were some mistakes made during that match for that game for sure. But that's why we play three of them. So if I wanna if I wanna pay attention to choke, how do I sideboard? Do I just cut these hymns? Like him is him seems pretty solid on the play. Like maybe I just get rid of this needle. For like one. Liliana seems like a card he's gonna struggle with a lot. I want ways to kill big creatures. I don't know. Like, I feel like if I want forcibles in my deck, they have to come from this slot. I don't really want to do that. Moms don't wear suits, they wear dresses. All right, whatever. We're not going to get choked one time. All right, heater, heater. My mom did mean business, for sure. One of five cards, it's gonna be tough. One of five cards, I need a bunch of two for ones. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, the bolt's good. The cards are so good. Dead. I kind of want to go brainstorm. Well, I should have brainstormed first. Damn it. I punched it here again. Blech. All right, we're going to pass. No, we're not. We're not going to pass. I'm going to bolt this and then give myself the option to eat it to brainstorm at the end of my turn to hit a third land. Which is what's going to happen. Which is what we did. So if I just edict this, I'm in a little trouble to a knight, but like I might not get a better option, better time to edict this thing. So I'm gonna get a Valk. That was a bad land to get. I should have gotten a black source. I'm just going to edict this thing right now. Get that F6 value. Don't wasteland me, bro. I should have got a different land. Yeah, I deserve this. And I deserve that. 
I deserve we 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 played yeah, we're good. I played I played the second game like garbage. <clears throat> and that's what cost us here. And then I got choked. But I do wonder how I'm supposed to like sideboard. Like am I just supposed to take the hymns out of my deck? <clears throat> so I wanted to get that F6 value and I was worried about the Scrib Ranger. Which I don't know if that's a commonly card play. I don't play enough legacy to know. But I know that like it's been played. I'm gonna keep. We're having a polluted delta off. I think my opponent's playing ant, which means I can't win. The dog is over here snoring up a storm. The scrib is flash. So like I have to do that end of turn anyways. I have to get like I, I have to use my mana and he can just flash the scrib in. Keep Thalia in play. I'll play the underground C. I don't think we're playing against a wasteland deck. But you can still play the scrib, right? Am I missing something? Like, he, on his turn, like he just goes attack with Thalia, pass. I have to Edict, right? Like, I've got to use my mana. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to start playing it. Yeah, looks like we're playing some of that hot mirror action. I could get Liliana here, which would be awful, but, like, they only play one in their main deck. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know. Oh, we're playing against... Okay. So we're playing against a four-color deck here. All right. Put away land, land. What would be a good draw for me here? Gurmag Angler. Okay. So we're going to go push. Eat it. I should have drawn the push probably because I already have one. Jesus. How can we ever win? So what's my next turn like? Like I'm gonna go die I wanna I wanna play this Jace. And I wanna fate seal myself to go up. But then I lose it to lightning bolt. So I guess I just want to Diabolic Edict this thing right now. Before they can untap with Counter Magic. Yeah, I got to deal with Leo. That's what I'm doing, right? Like, Leo's got to go first before I can really do anything. I need to find a Lightning Bolt. Question is, 
is if in game two and three, am I going to Blood Moon this guy? But then we then the Lily's not ulting, which is nice. Like I can brainstorm for a land, I can Edict again, and then I can Kolagon's command to deal with the Liliana. Like, it's a bit wishful thinking, but I think it's like the best thing that I can do here. Like if the Liliana's not putting pressure on us, I think we're gonna be like in a better spot, but I mean I'm certainly in trouble. I thought it was just tanking. I wonder if I should Blood Moon this guy after sideboard. Like, I feel like it's cool. It's okay to Blood... Like, it might be a good idea to Blood Moon him. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm kind of down to, like, in the Snap Cantrip deck, you know, double blue, double black, blue, black, green, and red. I'm kind of down to Moonham. But I kind of want to bring in this, 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 and this. I don't know what I would cut. I'd probably cut like Gurmag Angler Push Two Forces. <clears throat> probably can close this sideboard now. All right, they're rolling back to get Leo. So I will brainstorm with Leo on the stack. Oh, I don't really want, I want lands. Hand is so clunky. Put this back, put this back. I'm gonna force this and I'm gonna pitch brainstorm. Wow. That just stone resolved. You don't say. I'm gonna play this. Jeez, no land. It's all right. We'll keep. Which cards are the best? These two. Yeah, we got to sit in here and get the grind going. We need to hit land drops. Okay, they're getting their Leo back. <clears throat> Uh, that sucks. I put the best two cards on top. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done the ability. God damn it! <sighs> All right, let's ponder for a discard spell. Okay.
Yeah, I shouldn't have. I should have just like kept my cards on top. I think. And I'm definitely probably shocking this Liliana returning my Baleful Strix. No matter what, we're going to get something good. I think I'm going to take the force because I, I want this to resolve to get the Liliana off the field. Yeah, I'm going to take this force. Uh, return. Like it doesn't feel great. Like we're we're gonna be in here for a slog. But there's Leo. Okay. Underground C. Now I could snap Thought Seize the Colagons command, which I kind of like. Let me play my. Let me play Baleful Strix first. Yeah, I'm gonna snap thought seize the Kologons command. I'm definitely in a hard way here. Oh, I knew about the brainstorm. That was so stupid. I knew about the brainstorm. We're going for about four hours. I'm starting to lose my mind. Colgon's command. Incoming like Jace into Gurmag. <clears throat> what a slog. Wow. Oh, so this is like a snap co snap Colgon's command loop here. It's not a bad draw. All right, we're kind of back in it. My opponent's got my opponent's got strict Gurmag underground C. Well, don't really feel in it anymore. We have three, two Jaces left in our deck. Yeah, I'm gonna blood moon the piss out of this guy in game two.
All right, I'm going to go Bolt District, Diabolic Edict my opponent, and Attack Jace. Like, we get destroyed by a lot of stuff here. Like, Force of Will wrecks us anyway. Force of Will just ends the game. So, like, we might as well try to get everything. Surprised that worked. I need a Haymaker. I need a Snapcaster Mage. I need a Colgon's Command. I need a Jace or a Liliana. That's how we're getting back into this. This getting back Leovold is not a way to get back into this. Okay, so they have Force of Will. We have Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Uh. And what are they getting back now? They're getting back Leovold, probably. Picked up Leovold. All right, we're, I don't know how much longer I can take of this shellacking. <clears throat> um, one block. I'm going to take like one more draw step here. <clears throat> I don't really want to. Okay. You got it. You got it. You got it, opponent. Okay. <clears throat> Um, the pushes, the edicts. <clears throat> I don't think I can afford to have Blood Moon and Surgical in my deck at the same time. Like, <clears throat> Blood Moon is kind of, can kind of be a do nothing at some points of the game. Yeah, they're just the greedier version. So we're just going to moon them. No, oh, no, I don't want. I want to cut some of these forces. So we want these flusters. Yeah, I just didn't get to there yet. Any blue cards we have. We have 17 blue cards. <clears throat> we have 21 blue cards. I'm going to leave the force in there. For GP Tampa. Good luck, Freed.
Brady. We have a hand of a bunch of stuff. I get a swamp. All right, we got another one. All right, that is a nice one. All right, you got a force. All right, we're doing something. Leave the red up. That's kind of sucks. I kind of want to keep Thoughtsies. I'm going to put back him. God, we don't have enough black sources. Put back him. Uh, we just put back him ponder. Well, you brought it in against a twenty six land deck, right? That ain't good. That ain't good. I'm gonna go here and here. Thoughts he's my opponent. Ugh. Okay. I probably should have just put my Baleful Strix back and rolled my Liliana down. Get rid of this. We got our opponent on the ropes. And the hymn is still relevant here because we need lands to operate. I hope I stacked that right. I hope brainstorms. I hope I'm drawing brainstorm. We hit a Colgon's command. Did you hit a Colgon's command? U S O B. Yeah, I did. Okay, put back this, this, Baleful Strix. I hope we hit the Snapcaster Mage.
We didn't hit the snap. All right, let's hope my opponent doesn't draw a land. Because <clears throat> if they draw a land, then they're going to be able to snap back to Kologon's command, which would not be good for us. Oh, they didn't do that. Great. I'm going to hold this Snapcaster Mage to either counter their Kologon's command. I guess I should just hymn them. Get two cards out of their hand for marginal value. Because <clears throat> the snack Mage doesn't really do that much. Like, they get a brainstorm out of it, but that's kind of it. They were basically ensuring that it's not going to get Kolagons commanded back. <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna let this go. We're still gonna get two cards. Alright, we got a blast, which is nice. Could have gone uh, Snapcaster Ponder. Okay. Snap Bolt to Jace. We can't get into Force Plus Blue card. So we're just going to let this happen. Okay. Snap, bolt this Jace. Draw my own Jace. I guess I can snap Brainstorm. Doesn't really do a lot, though. Yeah, I'm going to snap Brainstorm. I want to see one more card. I can just attack the Jace. Okay. That is very nice. Attack Jace, attack Jace. <clears throat> Just keep making my land drops. Okay. Oh man, this is this is an intense game. Sorry I'm not chatting very much. This one's just kind of there's a lot going on here. It's kind of hard to keep track of. So actually kind of a free attack of the Snapcaster Mage here because I'll just return it with K Command if they block. Is 
That's not bad. I'm just going to hide the two good cards. Let's return the angler. Okay, nice. And now we're jacing. I think the K command's on top, but I'm not exactly sure. Turn off auto yields. Okay. So, I'm going to attack with this again. Because I can snap bolt and then fate seal. <clears throat> I kind of just want to return the angler again, or I could fate seal them. Yeah, let's keep let's keep going here. Well, now I wish I returned it. All right, put this back. Put this back. I'm just gonna pass. Like I can, I can do something with this Colgan's command, like. We're we're in a decent shape. They top deck a land, okay. So now just gonna untap. Bounce this. Spell bomb them. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm stupid. Return target creature. Return this, that. So I get their Gurmag now. Pay. We have our Snapcaster Mage. Attack for three. Did I, I? I'm just trying to keep it all together here. Yeah, I had it like set. Like I was, I was paying attention to like creating, like getting my snowball going. That I was just worried about, you know. But it, it probably had it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to keep it together. This is like complicated magic. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, sorry that that game wasn't played like as tightly as could be. It's just like there's just a lot going on and I'm trying to like, you know, do a couple things at a at a time, which is tough. I think I'm just gonna submit. Like maybe I wanna cut one fluster storm and have one of these. One more of those. <clears throat> but yeah, I could have I could have definitely missed it. I'm sure I'll get heckled in the YouTube comments for that one. Oh my god. You missed Lito. Alright, um yeah, we're gonna keep. Okay.
Yeah, it's just tough. A lot going on. So I don't think I'm going to just spew this brainstorm, but I do get destroyed by like a Baleful Strix. So maybe I shouldn't just by Liliana or Leovold. Well, that helps out with Leovold a little more. I'm going to spew the Baleful Strix. We can't really, like our hand, we don't have a lot of lands and our hand's pretty intensive here, so we can't really play around Blood Moon. We can't really play into our own Blood Moon because the color restrictments of our deck are so high. Here comes Leovold. Gross. All right, we can we can outrace that though. Okay. So I think I'm going to try to push my Jace through next turn. What happens if I force this? I think I'm just going to bolt it. If I force it, I can go bolt, snap, bolt on my turn as well. God, I think such a problem. And I'm going to crack my spell bomb as soon as I nab this Leovold. You going to blast me, bro? Uh, Fluster Storm. Okay. Okay, so that resolves. Believable. And then I'm just going to play Jason Brainstorm. I go get an island, I guess. Though I don't know if I can. I guess I, I want another red source, though. Yeah, we're just off the Blood Moon plan. I started with like not a lot of lands in my hand. Jeez. All right, let's hide this and this Jace. Now I'm gonna put so our opponent. Oh, God. I'm going to put these two back, I guess. And when my opponent trophies my Jace, I have to force it. No, because then they shuffle away my second Jace. Which card do I want to pitch? I'm going to put these two back. I'm going to pitch this to the Ponder. I think I'm just going to, like, pop this spell bomb if they roll it down. Holy shnikes.
This is kind of going to get wrecked if my opponent put a Leovold back on their deck. Back on their top two cards here. They put back a Baleful Strix. That's okay. So now we let Baleful Strix happen. And then we brainstorm and we try to snap bolt this Liliana. Keep this Force of Will. I think I am going to try to force... I'm going to force my opponent's Jays. If that's what they do here. Okay. I'm going to try to keep this on the on the field. And two. Okay. So I think... I think I snap bolt this Liliana right now. It's going to feel really bad if they take my Jays, but I've got this headache off the board. But it's four cards. I, mean, I, for I forced myself. I forced a little twice. Ugh. That's brutal. What do we have? We have a K command on top of our deck. I am hellbent opponent. Yeah, my opponent's deck's just, like, it just, like, Leovold is just the nuts. My opponent discard a card. Get rid of Gurmag. Uh, holy shnikes, what a slog. I guess we just Snapcaster... Shoot two with this Jace. I should have done it in the upkeep. That was stupid. This is all. This timing is stupid. This is me being a little tired. And I'm, make, I'm making some mistakes because this match is like holy shnikes. Yeah, they had me covered. I'm glad to be done that one. I am glad to be done that one. Oh. All right. Let's get the last two matches going. Uh, sort by convert mana cost. Okay. Yeah, that was that was just like tough. That's tough magic that I'm not equipped to do at this moment. All right. All right. Keep. Um, I think I'm going to go underground ponder on one. Into that old him to Torak on turn two. Jeez. Second angler is awkward, but we'll figure it out. They waste my blue source here, I'm gonna feel a little stupid. But Okay, 
it. They're not going to waste my resource. Oh, they're going to take my him to Torah. What a meanie. There's just no take, right? You have, there's no decision. You've got to take him. So take this force. So play the mirror. Another long and grindy one. I took the forest because I wanted... I guess I should have taken the Strix. I should have taken the Strix. Jesus. We're losing it. We're falling apart, chat. I should have just taken the Strix and left him with the force. This Gurmag Angler next turn is going to be annoying, but like we're going to have our own to match up against it. Okay. So this is gone. So I know they have push angler X, X, X. Okay. So I can't just play my Strix, because it's going to get whacked by a Fatal Push. So I think I'm just going to get another Angler. My opponent found the Jace. This is going to suck, but like, if they don't have Jace, we're ahead. Okay, this is not a Jace. There's a Diabolic Edict there. Bring this, what do we got? All right, Angler's, well, he's going down. Unfortunately, unless they didn't brainstorm. Yeah, so they definitely still have this push. Definitely have the push. They know I have lightning bolts, so if they go like if they do anything with the Jace here, it's not really gonna work out. They could K command, which would be a little annoying. I probably would just ditch my bolt. Protect tap black mana, sir. Yeah, this smells like a K command. could make me discard return strix push my push my uh, uh push my strix okay All right, so now I'm going to brainstorm. So we hit a land, which is nice, but I like to find something a little more impactful. Jeez, that's impactful. Oh, man, it's not impactful. All right, let's get this back. I could just play Gurmag. 
which we don't hate. So let's go, like, let's put this back and then this, and then just tap out and play angler. Bring some mana woes. That's getting forceful. So they push Strix X. Such a good time. We have to hope they don't have a him or a thought sees. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Really need a blue land off the top. Blue land would be big. There we go. All right, you got a force of will. So I know my opponent has fatal push. We could have lightning bolt. So I think I'm gonna go up on my opponent. On the bottom, yes. And then we're going to be forced. I'm going to be forced to trade anglers, and they're going to get into my Jace. Unless they get rid of the push. That was a nice Jace Fade Seal. Hitting that. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. I trade my Gurmag Angler. We can go for her. Gurmag Angler. They have another, they're going to kick command back in Angler. Shoot my Jace. This is a good sequence of plays for our opponent. Because now I can't bounce the Angler without my Jace dying to the Strix. So it depends on what I draw here. But I could just send the Angler back, but I'm probably going to have to brainstorm. Hopefully hit something good. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to brainstorm. Well, that's not bad. So it's probably just like new Jace bounce angler push. I'm just going to do this now for that sweet X6 value. So my top card is a fetch land or a fatal push. It probably should have. I, I hope I stacked it right. It should be a. But I'm not sure if I did. Oh, am I about to get Kolagons commanded? No. We're dead. I scoop. I yield opponent. We've only got 
two one J's left in our deck because they dealt with that Liliana too. Uh, bring this in. Probably want to cut Fatal Push, Gurmag, Edict. Bring in Flusterstorm. Um, I gotta cut some forces. I always forget to cut the forces. I'm gonna keep my. Bring this in. I'm gonna keep like a Gurmag. I'm gonna keep two forces in. Submit. I think this is gonna be my last match of the night. I'm getting a little tired. These games have been long and drawn out. And my play's definitely suffered because of it. I just haven't played very well in this league. Just been getting beat up. But I appreciate everyone that showed up tonight, all the followers. I get a lot of views when I start streaming Legacy, which is nice. Which is nice. It's just nice to have people. Nice to have people here. Y'all are great. All right, I would like to play first. And I'll keep this hand. Okay, it's pretty solid. And we have Flusterstorm for an early play. We can get Hymned, which would kind of suck, but so maybe I'm not supposed to play my Strix. The problem is if I just miss a land drop, then I'm in like just so much trouble. So I'm, I'm probably definitely, I'm pretty much gonna definitely play my Strix on two. Even if it's into like a counter spell or something. Or like even if we can get him. Yeah, now that I'm definitely just gonna fluster storm this. Play. Then play my Strix. Okay. It's nice hitting a land there. All right, we're going to get to our Jace. Depends on whether our opponent takes it away from us or not. <clears throat> okay. We're on the lands front deck. We don't need any more of those. My opponent jams a Liliana. I think that I'm just going to Jace brainstorm because the the Jaces are just much less. Okay. Actually, I could red blast this. No, nah, I want to red blast the Jace. The Jaces are much less. Uh, Stable after sideboard. It's not a bad draw. Because uh because of blasts, the Jaces just aren't gonna stick around. Like it's just much a much worse win condition. Like a cantrip. It's not a cantrip. I could play Jace with Blast Up, but like, um, uh, I could blast this, but no, nah, I'm gonna blast the Jace. I could play Jace with Blast back up, but like the problem is the Jace always loses to Blast. It's gonna kind of suck. I think if it's a K command, I'm gonna snap, Buster Storm it. Okay. And maybe I 
I should have blast that because I have the Snapcaster, but it's nice having like blast and snap fluster storm. Uh, a lot of lands, but it's important to hit land drops. Let's just do our cool things in this matchup. So my opponent's sitting on six spells. Makes me a little nervous. <clears throat> the fact that my opponent, I still can't go because like, Snap Fluster Storm won't do anything. All right, that's nice. I don't think I want this force. I think I just want the Snapcaster. So. Play my land. I've got six. I could go snap. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll do that next turn. I'm definitely fetching before I draw. Right, so this is getting a snapcaster fluster storm. <clears throat> I could just go snap fluster storm again and then have blast up for their for his uh his jace. I kind of like that because then we're on the battlefield. I hope we have a red land to fetch out. Wow, he's going to force this. I'm just going to blast this because, hang on, because if my opponent plays Jace, we can bolt Jace. Bait out the counter magic and then play our own Jace. And we're already on the board, so like we have a pretty threatening, like, like we can handle our opponent's Jace. My opponent's tapping me out, so like they get the green light, but like we're not naked to it, you know, like we can fight back with our own one. Same target. Like, my follow-up's decent. When do you respond to the blast? Get a second snap, fluster, the uh, split fluster cost, countering, take command if you leave, the double snap. Couldn't you, in response to the blast, cast snap into second fluster and split the fluster counters between Leaving you with double snap. Yeah, you're right. I could have done that. You are certainly right. So I'm going to play this Jace. And just going to brainstorm. Now I'm going to go, man, these games are intense. There's so much going on. That's a good one. So let's go like this.
Oh shoot, I should have attacked. I went I hit the F2 there. We're getting tired. This this is gonna be the last match of the stream. Yep, my Jace gets blast. Oh, he's bolted, that feels bad. We have a Gurmag from our opponent, it appears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could go plus, I can go snap, I can hit this, return Baleful Strikes, play Baleful Strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I can do it all, I shuffle away my dreadboard. No, actually I don't. So return. I have to keep my Baleful Strikes because of this, or keep my Dreadborn because we just do, we draw the card beforehand. And then I can either... Okay, Snap Pyroblast. Okay, so if I play Liliana, tick up here, block here, it takes one, rebuy. Okay, I think I'm behind so far on the board that I'm just going to jam into this and hope my opponent misses. No! Oh, I've messed my mana up. No! That's all right. And then I can't have the Dread Ward. No! Ugh, we're falling apart. I'm just going to take this. All right, how do we get out of this? Return Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I think it starts with returning Snapcaster Mage. So I can go snap Colagon's command. Or I can get back Baleful Strikes. Baleful Strikes can block the Angler. But if I snap Colagon's command, I can go Shatter Shock, block, block. Oh, I'm in a tough way. Yeah. I'll do it on my opponent's upkeep. <sighs> We've already seen two forces, so I doubt they have another one. Alternatively, I could just go return my Baleful Strix, because they're going to be able to kill this likely any anyways next turn. But I get another draw step. I'm going to just go for the go for one more shot at it. There's definitely a chance that maybe I should be getting back a Strix. I'm gonna play the land. Oh, they have a Jace. Oh, they have a Jace. Into an edict. 
Bleh. We'll just trade. It's my best draw. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's pretty good. Uh, return. I have a blast. So I should just go draw step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. kind of have to get rid of this J. So if I go like draw step, return, discard, and then blast the J's as my line. I guess I could have shocked the Jace and then shock, shock return, shock return again would have been better. Yeah, I should have done that. Left my opponent with a card. I'm just going to take this. That's such a nice draw. Turn it around. What do they have? They had a, it was just a him. Oh, it's another Jace. Oh my god, it's another, is it another Jace? That's oh, a Liliana. That's like just as bad. Oh, it's a Jace. Oh, these games are terrifying to play. Big draw step. Come on, don't do it to me. I'm just going to brainstorm with my Jace and try to find a way out from this angler. I've got enough mana. I don't want to bounce it and get it K commanded. All right, let's put back this. And this. We'll look at one new card. All right, any order, yes. Play this. I'm just gonna do it now. Just a little off. I'm gonna get one in at this. At this chase. My opponent gets to activate their chase first. I guess K Command would be pretty backbreaking with that attack. My opponent just miss? Yeah, I think they just missed. We're gonna try to bolt me right now.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can go K command, make them discard a card, return Snapcaster Mage. And I can go Flusterstorm, snap Flusterstorm if they have a lightning bolt here. I don't know how Reduke did a GP commentary, commentary on this deck. The game just goes so long. They're fine, but holy shnikes. Okay. Okay, so in response to this, one, two, I'm going to return Snapcaster, make them discard probably a Snapcaster before they can snap this back. Yeah. All right, we snuff, we snuff that out. Okay, so now I'm going to pay for it. Uh, yes. Pay for this. Yes. Kill the angler. Kill the jace. I have Snapcaster in case my opponent pulls any shenanigans. I think we got this one wrapped up. That spell bomb was big. Spell bomb was big. We're just going to submit it. Keep Ponder on one. Hope we don't get hemmed. Take my kick command. Oh, they're going to surge blade. Okay. All right. This is how we're going to do it. I guess we can see if that, how good this is. want each one of these cards, but I'm only going to get two. Alright, well I'm going to draw the him next turn and him my opponent. My opponent can hit me here, but... Alright, well... Don't flusterstorm me, bro. 
They have Flusterstorm into Liliana. Like, I'm going to be into a little bit of trouble. Probably a lot of bit of trouble. All right, we got an Edict and a Cake Man. Nice. All right, I'm going to brainstorm into Baleful Strikes. We just want some action. We want action or lands. That counts as action. I think the time is enough for this. And let's get rid of this ponder. I guess I should have waited because I can hold up blast for Jace. But I can do that next turn. I can just blast the Jace. I'm just going to keep creating the momentum. All right, we have Dreadboard too. So we have Jace covered six ways to Sunday, which is nice. Okay, we no longer have Jace covered six ways to Sunday. I can snap, I'm going to snap him my opponent's last two cards. Start by attacking. Play this. I'm about to get surge with again. Get my opponent playing off the top. My opponent's not attacking or blocking, which is a little odd. Get the last two. What do we get? Force and him. Force not great. Him very great. I think I'm just going to attack with both. And I might just rebuy my what like rebuy a creature with Liliana. Like I might just rebuy the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. That sounds mopey. I'll do it if they play Jace. But for now we'll just use it as a wing pawn. Oh, they drew a K command. That was part of the reason why I didn't want to do what I did. It's because they drew, they could draw a K command. If I went down, they just killed it. It was a good draw for our opponent. Brainstorm's another good one. God, don't find a lightning bolt. Land K command would also suck. God, these matches are such slogs. Nope, okay, well, that's nice. Alright, I'm just gonna bomb my opponent. I guess I should do it in their upkeep. Yeah, I'm gonna bomb them in their upkeep. I guess there's like nothing they can hit though. So we can hit Brainstorm, that's it. I guess I can do it in response to this one. We'll just do it now. Man, these bombs have been clutch in these two games. Here comes the Baleful Strix from my opponent. Yeah, these bombs have been super impressive. Now I'm going to just hold on to our brainstorm. Go up on this. Brainstorm. I'm going to put back. 
Yeah, I'm not going to put back land Jace. I think I'm just going to jam my Jace. I'm going to put back hit land. Attack. And I'm going to play Jace and Fate Seal my opponent. No, I'm just going to brainstorm. Like, the Jaces are just not reliable after... After... Uh, after board because of Pyroblast, which is what's going to happen here. Tilt. Okay. I guess I could have waited. Maybe you were drawn like, I could have rolled my Liliana down for a blue card if I needed to. But we've got, we've got a hard cast force up, so we're not in like an awful spot. I should have done this first because now if I get value, I guess I got value out of the kick command anyways. Blue Elemental Blast. So we're ahead, basically because we have Liliana, and we, we also have this Force, but, you know, we are ahead by a lot. Okay, my opponent missing this pretty big game. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to figure out if I should... I don't think I want to play this Baleful Strix. Like, I want to, I want to cover this my opponent's draw step with this Lily to protect this Liliana. All right, well that changes things. So now I can. And not going to cast that. I've got I've got my opponent's card covered, and hopefully their card and their draw step doesn't interact with Liliana. All right, opponent gives me the GGs. All right. Whew. I will play the last match probably tomorrow. I'm a little worn out. Some tough magic. But we're going to send you guys over to, um, to ARK. He's also playing Legacy. So give him a, give him a follow. He's very funny. He's a love a lover of the Jedi. Um